My friends, it's after hours here in the workshop, and I'm kind of working on my own project. You may recall this guitar I built with a redwood top, paduke back and sides, and a paduke neck. This was the very first guitar I ever built. I built it in one week while I was on vacation from AT&T. I had orders to build two 12 strings, and I thought, I haven't even built a single guitar yet. So I built this guitar in one week and was putting the oil varnishes on it with a brush and when I turned around to dip my brush I heard it hit the ground. The hanger that I had holding through one of these holes broke and the thing hit the ground right here and was on its way back up when I turned around and I just grabbed it by the neck. Well, that caused some problems. It broke, it caused a break here and a break here. It caused a slight dish in the top, as you can possibly see, and therefore the action's a little high. That may also account for the fact that the intonation is a little bit sharp. I repaired the damage back in 1986 when I built it and I've never touched it since. And that's the truth. This thing is held together that long, still playable. People love to play it in the um, studio or when I had my recording studio, I should say. People love to play this guitar because it recorded so well. But to my ear these days, as sharp as my ear is now, I hear it being sharp a lot, so I'm wanting to fix that. It's driving me crazy. Let me just play a chord on it for you here so that you can hear it. It's a good sounding guitar. These strings are very old, by the way. They're probably several years old and it doesn't get played much so they just sit there and rust <laughs> there's no uh so there's not much good sound coming out of that right now well anyway i'm going to take the strings off of it here and see what i can do about improving the uh intonation on this guitar. I don't guess I'm even going to worry about the intonation right now. I'm going to take the strings off of it, look inside it here and see if there's anything I can do to help the structure a little bit if it needs that. Then I'll put new strings on it and adjust the action as low as I can. And then I'll see if I can do anything to improve the intonation a little bit more, like maybe filing the uh, saddle back a little bit more or something. Although I can see I already did that. There may not be much I can do at this point in adjustment but we'll see. Don't know if that's showing up or not, but I think it is. There's a brace that's completely loose in there on the inside. Don't, I think you can see it there. There's the end of it right there and it's up in the air. So there's three fourths of my problem or part, a big part of the problem. So that brace is either loose or broken. I'm gonna get some, there's another one on the other side, so I'm not gonna film any more of that part of it, but I'm gonna get some glue in there and get some good braces on this, and maybe even try to force it up a little bit before I actually clamp it, and maybe that'll help take out some of this underbow. Quite honestly, I think there's several braces in here loose, including part of the X brace in the middle here, so yeah, I think I got problems. I'm gonna have to try to fix a bunch of braces, and it may take me a little while to get it all fixed. You know, I don't remember for sure what glue I used on this. I, I would have either used uh, Elmer's wood glue at the time or I would have used liquid hide glue at the time. And honestly, it's very likely it was the liquid hide glue. Now that all these braces are loose, that's my best guess because that stuff does not hold very well. More than likely, that's what the problem is. So, I'm gonna have to get my glue in there and see if I can get glue back in those places. In fact, I don't know, I might try a brush and just try getting it in there with a brush. It's, this one here is not gonna be too hard to get it in there. It's a huge crack. It, the, the brace is loose for quite a long ways. So I may try my little bent brush here. Might try that first. I'll have to bend this wire where I can get it up in there better. And 
it would be easy if it was easy, but it never is. And you know, syringes and things like that that people always suggest, they sort of work for other people. They don't necessarily work for me. You're trying to get something up in there and get squeezing that out is just not that easy to do. Especially with my big hands, number one. And number two, you're always working blind because you can't see down through the hole. So none of that works as easy as you think. I think I'm going to attempt it with my brush here. And I do think I'll be able to see it with my lighted mirror. And I think that'll be my best option. Yeah, I can see I'm in the crack there now and I can, I'm doing this dry of course, but yeah, I think I can do that fairly well with the, so I just gotta get glue on this and try that. Uh, this may be, make a big mess on the inside, but cleaning up the mess is not near as bad as just not getting the glue in there. So I'd rather have a mess and get plenty of glue in there. So, here goes attempt number one. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but it's more important that I see what I'm doing. Well, that didn't do too bad. Eh, didn't make too, too terrible of a mess. See what I can do here. If I sit down, I think I can even be more steady. So let me try that again. It's not easy because it is backwards. And then just about the time I get it where I think I want it, then the light, somehow I get my eye right in the light, and that hurts, and that doesn't help. So, it's not simple. Let me try this again here. I've got to get to the end of the brace. I've got most of the brace covered, I think, except for the very end of it. Yeah, at the very end, I'm having trouble getting down there for some reason. Don't know why that's harder than the rest of it, but it is. I can't make myself do the backwards thing here in the mirror is my problem. That's really hard to do. It's harder to do than you think. I don't know if you've ever tried to cut your own hair in the mirror, especially on the one side of your head. The one side's not too bad, but if you try to cut hair or something on the on the opposite side of your head in the mirror, you'll, if you've ever tried that, you'll know exactly what I'm experiencing here. It's just not simple. Really not getting it at the end like I should. Oh, and then the lights at the end, that's where the lights are really nailing me. That's not helping at all. It just, it seems completely backwards. Just shouldn't seem this backwards. I'm trying to think of it on the top of the guitar and that helps some, but then I still can't hit where I'm trying to aim. <laughs> I feel so awkward. This just, just doesn't feel right. I shouldn't, this shouldn't be this hard, but it is. I can tell you it's really hard. <laughs> I've got glue there, but I don't think it's giving me very good coverage. I'm almost thinking I can do it better without just by looking in there like this and getting it in there better. I really think I can do it better that way. Even though I can't really see where I'm putting it, I can see where the brace is and I can make the brush rub along the brace. So I'm gonna try that and then look in there later and see what it looks like. That had to do something. Let me look in there now and see if it looks like I got it. Well, that looks better. 
I don't know. Uh, I'll take, I'll, I'll get a damp cloth, get in there, try to clean it out first, and then I'll clamp it. All right, so I got a damp cloth here. I'm going in there alongside the brace. I'm trying to clean up the extra glue. And I think I probably got most of that right there. Yeah, actually it doesn't look too terribly bad. Let me try a clamp now and see what that does to it. I don't know if this clamp will reach in there far enough. I hope it does. That would be nice because these are good clamps for this kind of thing. But I don't think it's going to quite reach far enough. Ah, goofy clamp is sliding on me. see what that looks like and see if it's squeezing out glue eh, not very good not very good got to get something longer than that that proves to be pretty successful I think I've got the brace all the way to the end and up tight to the guitar and if, for my money it looks like that even helped the underbow a little bit I can't really do much more than that so if I just get the braces glued back, I think I'm going to be happy with that. So whether or not I get all the underbow out, I don't think that's going to matter too much as long as I get it back solid. Because it's definitely not solid right now. There's more. Uh, this big X brace is loose here. So I'm going to get glue in that. And I think I can get clamps on that too. So while I can, I'm going to glue and clamp as many as I can do at one time. I think there's at least three broken loose. I, I got it in, I got it there, but I'm not sure I got the glue under there as far as it needs to go on this one. Try it again. I think that did it. I think I got it under there that time. I think I did. I'm going to try to come in from the back side, which is next to impossible. I know that already, but I'm going to try it. Try to bend this some more to maybe help me get around there. Yeah, not so much. Uh, I don't know. I can't tell if that's going to squeeze glue out or not, so I'm going to try it with a clamp here and see what that looks like. Do it dry first if I can. If I can get this to fit it, that this will be a good clamp for this if I can get it to fit it. I think it will. Just going to, yep, it looks like there's going to be glue squeezing out. I'm going up and down with it there to pump the glue in and out of there better. Just going up and down with the brace with this clamp. And it does look like it's pumping in and out of there. I think that's going to probably do it. Guess I'll put a little pad of leather here just in case. I think that did it. Looks like it did a pretty good job, actually. Now I wish I could get in there and clean that out. I don't know if I can clean out the glue very good. I'm going to try to get in there with this and clean up some of the loose glue. Quite honestly, that might be a lost cause with the clamp in the way. But I'm going to try. At least I'll get some of it out. Mm. 
Yeah, I got quite a bit of it out, more than I thought I'd get out. That's probably all I can do for right now. At least I got it thinned down where it's not real thick, heavy blobs of glue. And so I'll let those set. And then I'm positive there's at least one more on this other side. In fact, I can see it in the mirror right now. And it's pretty far over there though, so I think I'll have to wait on that one. It's the next morning. I took the clamps off of those braces. I got that working pretty well, and uh, all that seems to be fine in there. I found another cracked brace way back there that I couldn't really get to, so I dropped CA glue through the hole, dropped it by gravity on that brace, put a rubber hand, uh, rubber gloved hand in there and pushed it up, sprayed a little accelerator in there. That seems to be holding. Just done a few other little touch-ups on internal bracing there that I could see. Everything looks fine now. I'm going to put on some custom light strings. These are um, Diodario Phosphor Browns EJ26 custom lights. They're 11 to 52. So they're not crazy light, but uh, I think they'll be just fine for this guitar. This guitar has a wonderful sound. It's loud. So light strings I don't think are going to hurt it at all. I think if anything, they'll help it. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll show you what that looks like here when I get to it. Well, I got her strung up. It, the uh, intonation's much better now. I think taking that big, under bow out of there. Now there's still a tiny bit there, don't get me wrong, but but that helped a lot. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think it turned out about as well as I expected. I think the action's a bit high. I may adjust the action a little bit, but other than that, I think I'm finished with it. Thanks for watching.